And on to our feature of the evening. Now, just how important is your blood pressure level during pregnancy? Well, high blood pressure can lead to a condition in pregnancy known as preeclampsia, which more often than not, if not treated, can lead to serious, even fatal complications for mother and child. But when controlled, a mother can have a healthy baby and keep healthy. Ray Polo now looks at the journey of a three-time preterm mother who has conquered pre-eclampsia. Five-month-old Hima conquered pressure heights and entered the world, albeit in a hurry, just like his name implies. At birth, Hima was separated from mom in a desperate attempt to save at least one of them. Baby Hima had landed at two kilograms, only to reduce to 1.6 kilos in a matter of days. My wife was at Nairobi Women's Hospital in I had to go and get the milk that she has expressed, take it to uh, the hospital where the baby is admitted, Nairobi West Hospital. So you, you see, you juggle. At home, you have other babies that you live with the house help. Sometimes he's even given the baby to kangaroo, he does it. The clothes that we wear, they are very funny. They are for the women. In fact, how do we call them? The maternity dresses. And you know he has to wear them for him to enter. Sometimes you just realize that you're in the motion of things. When you sit back and look and say, wow, what was this? <laughs> for many weeks, his little lungs struggled under his chest that was caged by a respiratory disorder. And everyone who was uh, looking at the baby in photo was like, I, this baby might not make it. But as, as we were ever hopeful. The Orendes were up to another unique trip through parenthood, from tiny baby clothes to palm-sized diapers that had to be imported from the Philippines to the endless trips between home and hospital. Even at the time that we were being discharged, the smallest socks could not fit the baby. We, we used to put it on, and by the moment she, the baby stretches, the socks falls off. So when you put the baby on the skin, sometimes they sleep, you find them that, that, that they have reached the stomach. So you have to pull them up again and you hold them. Josephine would religiously express and deliver milk to hospital to ensure a daily dose of food for her delicate baby. In most cases, they deplete the insurance cover. You have to look for money from other sources. When you're from the hospital, you still have the fear that maybe they can forget to breathe. The nurses guide you on how to hold them. They tell us that now with the time when you see that the saturation, oxygen saturation is going down, you tap their legs. So I learned to do that. Their reward, a chubby baby boy, now chuckling away his time. Hima is now starting to sit. He's lifting himself. As a mother, I feel so happy. And in fact, I felt that I need to encourage other mothers. In place of feeding pipes and breathing machine that once clogged his face, Hema now wears a big bright smile for the world to savor. A smile that captures his three-year-old sister Andre, who was yet another miracle baby. Three years ago, Andre arrived on week 32 of gestation, weighing a paltry 1.2 kilos. She was lacking both in form and flesh. Honestly, I was scared when I saw her. When we touched the head, you could feel that the skull was not even joined together. Some of the body organs were not even formed fully. I had even to ask the doctor, is she a girl or a boy? Andre's preterm delivery was pushed by a condition known as preeclampsia. Preeclampsia may present with symptoms like persistent high blood pressure, severe headaches, blood vision, shortness of breath, pain in the upper belly, usually under the ribs on the right side, nausea and vomiting, among others. Although largely treatable, preeclampsia can be fatal. When it affects the placenta, the placenta starts producing toxins or poisonous substances that then goes and can end up killing the unborn child. If you do not treat preeclampsia, the woman will then start con go to eclampsia now, where they start convulsing and they, get, and they can get to strokes and they get, end up brain dead. All the kidneys will shut down and they have to do long-term dialysis. So the liver is the mainstay of planning preeclampsia, you have to deliver at whatever time you get it if the mother is getting compromised. Three-year-old Andre has survived but still needs to conquer a few more challenges in order to thrive. When this girl was two years, she was still seven kilos. Although still plagued by poor feeding and bouts of low immunity, Andre seems proud to play the part of a caring sister. The little one embraced the baby so well. In fact, there was a time that I found her changing the diaper for the baby. But there is the bigger sister, Angel, 
who was the first bundle of pressure to land in the family. The 11-year-old girl born at 1.6 kilograms is now grown and chubby. If you had asked me then whether I was willing to have another baby, I would say no. And actually there are some friends that we are close with. They even asked me, what's up? You're having another baby, are you not afraid? I said, no, because again you have to make that face. Like, I want to own this. There is a group that I am in and someone has a baby who is 600 grams. So I just want to encourage them that these babies can live with good care. It is a journey that is possible, one day at a time. Indeed, it is a story of hope, a journey of resilience. And finally, baby Hima is home, whole and healthy, much to the delight of the entire family. My name is Ray Polo for Citizen TV.